Hi viewers, welcome to another episode of Gotcha On Track Dashcam. Yay! Hey, g'day viewers, Dashy here. Well, you can see I'm not actually walking or sitting driving a vehicle, where you don't really see me a great deal driving a vehicle. Just a little bit of a quip, Montague Street Bridge. Had a little standing there for a while and stood at 266. Bridge couldn't help itself, could it? It's now claimed the victim number 267. 267 crashes. Vehicles that are over 3 metres high, it's like a magnet to them. They have to turn around and crash into this bloody bridge. I've been driving trucks for I don't know how long. I'm paranoid about low bridges, uh, more so for the fact that it causes damage, it causes mayhem. I don't want to be sacked from my job. Uh, it's, it just dumbfounds me. There's been some pretty famous ones uh, that have crashed in. Well, stories about vehicles that have crashed in now, I'm not going to go into it. Uh, it's quite a big one at the moment, anyway. But I'm getting back to the fact uh, 267. It's such big news every time on the news, it gets such big coverage, and yet people still crash into this godforsaken bloody bridge. It's got warning lights, it's got flashes, it's got everything you could say, see, and I drive past it many times, I think what would possess people who are driving vehicles to crash into this particular bridge? is three meters high so basically i won't go into the exact part of it but it states three meters now if you're driving a vehicle you know the height of your vehicle you know when it's coming out at you and it's a head height and you know your vehicle is higher than your head um, this one was a little box van uh, obviously it was about 3.5 meters or thereabouts or above but you still should know your, your vehicle. I've been driving trucks for 42 fucking goddamn years, paranoid about bridges. Even some that I know my vehicles are from 4.3. I have driven 4.6 and below. But 4.6 uh, for probably ooh, five years, paranoid about them. I knew where I could and cannot go, even when there were plenty of low bridges around. Not three metres. 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, and more importantly, where I can get under at 4.6 maximum. And I know going through the, uh, the main tunnel in Melbourne Central, the two tunnels there are 4.65 metres. So I've got roughly 500 mils, half a metre, or not even quite, up my sleeve to travel through those tunnels with 4.6. Anything above you're doing damage. But that was, I knew that full well, I knew the height of that vehicle, and I knew where I could, and where I damn well couldn't go. But what gets on with these people? What goes through their head? I don't know, fucked out of their head, fucked on their brain, stupid. What is it that they don't understand and see and register? They're not driving a car, even though a lot of these vehicles do drive like cars and they forget, and people do ridiculous things. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. 42 years coming, uh, in a, basically 42 years coming up pretty soon. But anyway, um, I just don't get it. Why people keep continually hitting high bridges? If you know the height of your vehicle, you do. There's no such thing as complacency when you're driving a heavy vehicle on a road, regardless of what size it is. You should know your vehicle and the height. Most cars fit under two meters, anywhere they go. Most cars. Then you get into the four wheel drive, they're starting to push your limits. Then you get up into the smaller vans, uh, like transits, Ivecos and Renaults, uh, those sort of things. They're pushing a bit above 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 metres. So you still got to be sort of aware of that. Then you get into your camper van, uh, motorhome ones, which can push you anywhere up to about 3.9. Then you get into your mini buses. Then you get into your smaller ridges, medium ridges, and heavy ridges that go up to 4.3 high. Then you get into semi size, 4.3 and below as a standard. So, am I missing something there? Or am I not taking some stupid drug to actually miss a lot of that? 
I don't know. I just really, really don't know uh, how this all come. What What are people thinking? Are they just so blase about driving wherever? I oh, just turn it down here and just plough through. This one just basically hit it, but there has been so many that have not just hit this particular safety barrier, they've ploughed on just about right through. And I go back, back in the mid 80s, I think it was, one of the company I worked for, the driver actually made it through. And fortunately, but unfortunately, unfortunately, he hit the bridge. Fortunately, the vehicle was only uh, three point one metres high, so he missed a fifteen thousand dollar fridge motor. So they were able to salvage the fridge. The body was better to ride off, but the fridge motor, which was pretty expensive, they had managed to salvage that. Uh, in the meantime, there was a huge mess everywhere, as usual, trying to fully load it up. But we've also got the sister bridge to that, the Napier Street Bridge. People are still hitting that. For Christ's sake, what's going on? You've got a container on the back of your truck. Know your height. If it's 4.3, 4.3, you put a container on the back of a truck, it's 4.3. Don't go anything under anything lower than 4.3. I'm missing something here somewhere, and I think a lot of my friends are saying the same thing. There's just something about stupidity that people just don't understand or don't get. They're just too complacent about it. Anyway, that's my little bit of a rant. Um, what can I say? The Montague Street will actually keep on keeping on. Uh, it's probably sister bridge in another country, i.e. the left great bridge now becomes a 12 foot 6 bridge. They're raising it 8 inches to bring it in line with the rest of the rail line. So it'll be interesting to see what tracks make it under there and what tracks don't. So if you do see that one, go and have a look at the 11 foot 8 bridge. Uh, it's in there somewhere uh, on YouTube. Go for it. Uh, whether you get some content out of that again, I don't know. But I watched a lot of that and it's just the same thing. People are places. It's got flashing lights, same sort of scenario, but people just still keep on hitting that one. I don't know, people are just drawn to stupidity, magnetism. Anyway, that's my little rant and for today. So, dash you out. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, leave a comment, and please subscribe to Gotcha on Track Dashcam, a mucking puppet production. Yay!